In March 2015, 185 member states came together at the third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan. They agreed on a new global plan for the next 15 years called the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. It aims to build the resilience of countries and communities worldwide against hazards and its measures are already being carried out in every region of the world. Over 115,000 lives are lost each year as a result of disasters and the economic cost is vast, up to 300 billion US dollars annually. Globally, significant progress has been made, but there is still work to be done. Disasters hit Sub-Saharan Africa hard, with two significant events every week, affecting 12.5 million people per year. Meanwhile, many countries in the region are experiencing unprecedented growth and urbanisation, yet 400 million people live below the poverty line. The Sendai framework could help reduce poverty by helping countries to become more resilient. We had a lot of lessons learned. Africa is one of the continents which is experiencing a lot of disasters. And as you know, the limitations in Africa are still high. We still have a lot of poverty. We still have limited resources to respond. And at the same time, Africa is faced with climate change related disasters. People must know what disaster risk reduction is. Coordination across the region is crucial. The 5th Africa Regional Platform in Abuja agreed on a post-2015 framework on disaster risk reduction for the entire continent. This ensures that lessons and knowledge are shared, fostering cooperation and partnerships across the region. By coordinating policy and sharing data, we can implement the most effective measures across sub-regions. Most disasters in Africa are related to water and climate. The right tools for weather monitoring can mean that risk is reduced and our communities are made safer. Development cannot be sustained without implementing DRR practices. With better risk knowledge, resilience can be built and knowledge can be spread engaging new generations as never before. Young people have access to information, have access to avenues of uh, releasing that information that other generations don't necessarily understand or, or are able to use as well as young people. And this is so key in implementing this framework because we need to get that information out there. We need people to understand processes. We need people to take ownership of, of, of them. And youth are the perfect agents of change for this. Community resilience can be strengthened through universal, robust insurance policies. Risk financing, coordination and knowledge sharing will have a significant impact on the lives of communities across the region. The implementation of a programme to build resilience in sub-Saharan Africa is underway, funded by the European Union as part of support to the African Caribbean Pacific Group of States it is coordinated by the African Union and supported by the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, UNISDR, the World Bank and the African Development Bank. It aims to provide a comprehensive regional risk management framework for Sub-Saharan Africa. It will enable implementation of the Sendai framework in the region to sustain development gains and build resilience. Working together, thousands of lives will be saved and millions will be protected from the impact of disasters. Sendai Framework is making the difference for resilience in Africa.